Uh, I was sent the script by uh, Max Mangella, who wrote it, who's a very old friend of mine, known him for about, I don't know, 13, 14 years. And uh, I knew he'd been writing this for a while, and uh, the, the, the story had intrigued me. I'd never read the book, but uh, when I, as soon as I read it, I called him, and I was like, I, I want to do this movie. I just, um, it took me on a journey that I found fascinating, and uh, I just thought, like, once we actually... You know, if I'm finding it fascinating on the page, imagine how fun and cool a movie it could be. So I was sort of in from the from the start. I have read the book since. Um, the character of Pascal, the doctor in the book, is played played a lot older. And in fact, when I met Alex Azia, the director, after being sent the script, he urged me not to read the novel before we start filming because he didn't want that portrayal or that the way he's portrayed in the book to influence what I was going to do. So, um, yeah, I, did, I, you know, I, I didn't read it until after. But it, uh, I love the book, but, you know, we've made it a very different uh, story, I think. Yeah, so I play uh, Dr. Alan Pascal, who's a, who's a young, sort of maverick um, neurologist who specialises in paediatric coma. And, you know, he's, uh, he's, he's, he's quite... Uh, Quite unorthodox and radical in his approach to, to, to medicine and understanding the brain and um, you know he's he's the, the doctor who's giving TED talks and you know when we first see him he's giving a TED talk and um, you know and uh, has quite a following from his books and um, he's not your sort of everyday uh, everyday doctor and, and this case comes along of a boy who's fallen off a cliff and who's got this bizarre history of, of accidents and uh, he is just massively intrigued by this this, this case and, and, and gets involved and wants, and wants to answer all the unanswered questions and then ends up getting possibly too involved and certainly too involved with the, the case's mother, the boy's mother and um, that's when everything starts to really unravel for him. Oliver Sacks, was, who obviously died there very recently, was the closest sort of living Example of someone that we felt we could draw from, who was a bit of a maverick in that field. Um, so I am um, actually reading his um, biography at the moment, but I had read other stuff uh, of his leading up to doing the movie, because he was the only person who existed who, who was sort of uh, that we felt Alex and I and Max that we could draw from. Um, yeah, so I you know, and then read up as you know much. Of, Sort of basic stuff that I, I could could muster, um, but that my I, a lot of doctors in my family, so I got little snippets of information from from them as well. But we very much wanted it to be our own sort of portrayal, you know. Yeah, I mean it was great. It was we shot the whole thing in Vancouver, where I have spent uh, over a year and a half of my life working on various things. So uh, you know, I I feel very comfortable there. It's like sort of second home for me and my family um, and Alex is he's great he's very um, he's very giving he knows what he wants um, which I think is refreshing and not not always the directors have that clear an idea I think they think they do and then they get started and they sort of go shit I haven't really thought this through <laughs> uh, but he it was quite a clear idea of, of how he wanted things to look and a very particular style but um, he made it very easy, yeah.